my place. Pops, Leave my customers alone. Pops, we're gonna run you out of here. We know you can't pay the rent anymore. Clear out. Yeah, clear out, Pops. We're taking over. Yeah, yeah over. over. Don't do anything you're gonna regret. You understand me? It's not over yet, boys. I have plans to get my customers back. Let's clear out. O'Doyle's rule! O'Doyle's rule! Sure, Grandpa. I'll come out there and help you this summer. It's been a long time since I've seen you. Okay, see you next week. Hey, Perlon, who is that? That was my grandpa. He needs help with the soda shop. I'm going to go over there for summer vacation. Where is it at? It's in California. Malibu, I think. Do you need some help? I think I could help out. Sure, that would be great. Can I go too? I've never been to California. Is that by New York? No, Candy. It's across the country on the West Coast. But I, could, I would be glad to have you come along. Great! I didn't have anything to do this summer anyway. Can I come with you? My parents just want to go to Europe again this year, and it is so boring. Just having parties with all the jet setters and... The boys are so snuffy and snobby. Not like you guys. Maybe I can go to California and we could see some cute California boys. Yeah, yeah boys. boys. One, two, three, four. Who are we rooting for? California! What did you say? Oh, never mind. You guys never get my cheers. Hey, should we ask Miss Dunn for our house mother about this? Because if she finds out, we're done for. Haha. <laughs> no, we don't want to tell her. She wouldn't want us to go so far away. She'd only give us some of her advice. Watch out for the boys, they only want to kiss you. The boys would only distract you from your training for the Olympics. You better stay away from them. They're only after your daddy's money. today for Midget Airlines. We've got peanuts, we got Pop-Tarts, and my favorite, pure sugar. Here you go. Um, what would you like, miss? Um, actually, I'm just thirsty. Well, we do have a nice, refreshing Coca-Cola. Thank you. We got pillows, too, because we're all about comfort here on Midget Airlines. Here's an orange one for you. Thank and you. Uh, yellow or, okay, green, it is. Good, thanks. Just taller if you need anything. Okay.
Hello, Grandpa. How are you doing? Not so good. There's this hoodlums who call themselves the drools or something like that. I've chased off all my customers and all my employees. It's just me to run the little soda shop by myself. Unless maybe you can help me this summer. Well, Grandpa, I have some good news. These girls to me have offered to stay and help us out. That's Jennifer, Jennifer Diane. We call her J.D. Hello, can I call you Pops? Sure you can. You all can. This is Cassandra, but we call her Sandy. Hello, Pops. Hello. And this is Candy. We just call her Candy. Hello, Mr. Perlin's Grandpa. I mean, Pops. Where can we put our things, Grandpa? Have I got great news for you. I had this house down on the beach. I used to rent out, but the renters are gone now, the drools ran them off. So you girls can stay in the beach house all summer long. It's right on the beach. You'll love it. Okay, okay great. great. First thing tomorrow morning, we'll start getting this place fixed up. cheese though. Yes, they were most scrumptious and very wholesome and good for you. By my calculations, they give you the energy of two men we consume with french fries and a coke. Cheese would be nice though. Well, Pops is having a special. All you can eat for two dollars. Fries and coke extra. Great, let's go. But what about the old Doyles? I'll take care of them if they bother you. Besides, we have friends at Pops. They'll help us. Where do you think you guys are going? By my calculations, this is trouble. Yeah, brain boy. This is trouble with a capital P. You mean T. Yeah, T. Do you boys come to this beach often? I haven't seen you guys around here. Uh, hey, come back here. We're not through with you yet. Yeah, through. Who are you guys? We're the Doyles. We, we rule. And we want to take Pops over as our clubhouse. Let me introduce you to the rest of our team. Because of the bird on my shoulder. The pheasant. 
parrot? No, it's a hawk. Oh, I guess so. Why do they call you a moose? Because of my moose antlers. But those are deer antlers. No, they're not. They're moose antlers. If you say so. I mean, yeah, you got their hammer and nails. No, I'm hammering these nails. But you have nails and he has a hammer. Be quiet, smart guy. Where are the toilets? The toilets? That's a cute name. Why do you want this place, man? Because it's cool, man. We have a problem. This is where all the servers hang out. And the math lab. And the football team. Yeah, man. Like, this is, like, man, Coolsville, man. Well, we'll find another place. Because this one's ours. Well, we'll stop you. You don't know who you're messing with, boys and girls. You don't look so tough, do they, gang? Well, kind of tough. Tougher than East Coast boys. I've seen tougher guys while training. I don't know about tough, but I do like their jackets. And those girls have awesome fashion sense. Can I ask you guys where you shop? Your clothes are so cool. I called the cops, so you punks better get out of here. We better scram! Let's scram, gang. We'll be back. Doyle's rule! That was close, guys. What are we gonna do? Let's have a party on the beach advertising the new pop soda shop. What do you mean, new soda shop? We can add cheese to the menu. On the East Coast, we do that stuff all the time. Then we call it new and improved. What do you think, gang? Yeah, let's go. I feel like it's really boring. I mean, that's like how far we were at time with it. Let's dance!
What are we gonna do about the O'Doyles? Let's challenge them to a tournament. A test of brain and skills. Yeah, yeah great idea. Hey Pops, how do you know my father? We went to Harvard together. You went to Harvard? Well, yes and no. See, I worked in the cafeteria of her father's fraternity. That first year I helped him with his homework and his studies. He'd always come down around midnight, hungry as a bear, and I'd fix him a hamburger, and that's where I learned to cook so good. And you know, he went on to become president of the fraternity, and he graduated with honors from the business school. I went and joined the Navy. You know, we kept in touch for a little while, but you know, we lost track of each other until you showed up. And he'd sent me pictures of you when you were a little girl, and I recognized you. And you know, he's the one that gave me the nickname Pops. Well, Grandpa, that's a neat story. But what are we going to do about the O'Doyles? Oh, during his story, I went out and challenged him to the contest. What's the contest? The contest is a challenge that tests brains, skills, muscle, and nerves. Only the bravest people can win the contest. Yeah, man, only the bravest and the smartest. We can yeah, do we it. can, we do, can it. do it. Let's go. Really? contest will be the warm eating contest. You're going down, Shaggy. Go. Man, the dirt I can handle with the worms. I can't kill a living creature. Come on, guys. Eat those worms. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. oh. Did he win? Nasty. That's... Oh. Contest to be a contest of brains. First, who was the famous scientist that invented the light bulb? Bernie. Thomas Edison. Correct. Second, what is the stick coffee you use to check in your oil? Candy. The thingy. Wrong. Dipstick. Yeah, dipstick. I am not. No candy, that is the answer. We are tied one to one. Third, according to the American Bandstand, what is the latest new group to come from England? Bernie. They guessed who? 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 That's my answer. Wrong. They guess what? 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 That's my answer. Wrong. The Beatles. Correct. Fourth, finish this sentence. Pie or blank. Good to eat. Yeah, eat. Yeah, good to eat. Animal, you're not in this contest, but that's wrong. But they are good to eat. Yeah, eat. Pi are best at the county fair. Pi are best from your mom's kitchen. Wrong. Pi are squared. Correct. Pi aren't squared. They're round. And we'll punch anyone who says different. Yeah. 
different. Okay, that question is disqualified. The O'Doyles are up two to one. Last question. Fifth, according to the national survey, what do 32% of the people in America have in their house right now? This is easy. They have a telephone. Wrong. Way to go, smart guy. It's meatloaf. Meatloaf. You dummies, it's a car. Yeah, people don't keep cars in their house. Yeah, house. Ooh, ooh. Candy, do you have an answer? Oh no, uh, we've lost, lost this one. one. Well, Pop, I read in Tiger Beat that 32% of America, as of the year 1962, have a color television set in their house. Total percent of TVs in American houses right now is 63%, but 31% are black and white, and 32 are color. Correct. Wow, way to go, Candy. That was amazing. We didn't think you'd know that. You're a lot smarter than we give you credit for, man. Just because a girl is blonde doesn't mean she isn't smart. We know that, but Candy, you're not blonde. I'm not? Why didn't somebody tell me? I always thought I was. You thought you were blonde? Yeah. I must be colorblind. That would explain a lot of things. Yeah, that would. All right, let's move on. The score's tied at two each in this round. And let's see, let me total up the scores for the total so far. And it is the O'Doyles have two wins and the gang has three. The final match is worth two points. If the O'Doyles win, I have to leave Pops and we'll have to go elsewhere. If the gang wins, the gang will have to go elsewhere out of this area and leave us alone. Is that agreed, folks? Yeah, we got it. That's agreed. Yeah, but we won't lose the match because Moose is the best. What is the match? The match is the surfers do the pipeline. We've got judges from the California Surfing Association that will be judging this contest. You must complete the pipeline run without falling off your board. You've got to show your moves, the best moves you've got. Your man has got to maybe do new moves without any flaws. The, the association will judge it, and when we're done, that will determine you guys still have a chance to win. If your man, who is it? Moose? Moose. If Moose wins, you guys have got pops. If you win, you guys hit the road. Is that clear? That's right. We got it. Alright, let's go! Wow, man, those waves look awesome, man! No problem. I've surfed these babies before. I even got a new move. I don't have a name for it yet, but I'm gonna try it out today. It just feels right. That's awesome. Wellington, you're so brave to go out there and do this for our pops. I'm gonna give you this for good luck. Thanks, Berlin. Well, I better get out there. Looks like a good wave's coming in. Good luck, man. Thanks. Good luck. So, Moose, have you ever surfed before? Yeah, Nails. I used to be a pro before I joined the gang. Piece of cake. Piece of cake? Where? Oh, Moose, you're so brave. Here, let me give you these for good luck. What are these for? Throw him on a surfboard when he stands up, and we'll win the contest for sure. That'll show him. We'll have pops for sure. Dude, congratulations. You won the surfing contest. What do you call that move? Call it... Hang Tin. That's awesome. You won a spot on the pro surfing tour and a TV contract in New York. Gnarly. Wow, you are great. Now you're going to be rich and famous. Thanks, man. I'm glad you think so. Yeah, you're going to be rich and famous. I guess we're going to be heading back to school tomorrow. What? You're leaving? 
What about Bob's? What about us? Paul's will be okay. You guys have been a big help. His new place is called McDougal's. He's partnership. He's gonna have a partnership with Sandy's dad, and they plan to franchise all over the country. Just don't tell anybody what's in the secret sauce, okay, gang? Okay. No one will believe us anyway. Hankton, let's take a walk. Okay. As for us, you have a big contract, serving competitions, and you'll be so busy. I have to finish school. We have separate plans. Maybe if things had been different, we could have been together. But as they say, say la vie. But PA, listen to me. My contract's for me to film in New York. I'll be there all next year. Surfing competitions are only in California during the summer. My film will be during the winter. We still see each other all the time. It'll be great. Is that really what you want, Hankton? Sure is, for a lab. This has been the greatest summer ever. Grandpa, I'm really glad to miss you. I'll write you every week, and I hope your restaurant does really well. Thank you, Perlan. I couldn't have done it without you. You have a safe trip home now and tell your mom and dad hi. Okay, I'll see you next summer. All Good right, I'm counting on I can't wait until you come to New York. I'm going to show you everything. That'd be great. And until then, I can call you every week. And I'll write you every day. Yeah. Bye.